What's up guys? Before we get into today's video, we've got two personal shout outs to do, as we mentioned in our last video. Those go to Ben Rowe, Ben put, if that goes in, I'm quitting YouTube. That's basically the comment that we asked you guys to put for a chance of a shout out. And he's going to get back into his YouTube channel. So best of luck with that, Ben. We wish you all the best. We have subscribed, so we'll keep up to date with your videos. Next shout out goes to Just Knuckle It. He put an essay comment. Really appreciate the comment, man. Your comments are on point every video. We notice them all the time. And we'll go and drop a few comments in your videos as well to say thank you for that. Those are our top two top comments for today's video. This video is a bit different. It's taken a while to upload because of kind of uncertainty to upload it, but it's going ahead. Anyway, hope you enjoy. What's up guys? Hope you're all doing well. If you saw our knuckleball free kicks versus a Sunday league goalkeeper video, you'd have heard in there the few updates we had regarding Charlie and his injury. Nothing's changed since. So, got to make do on my ones. One is the loneliest number that you'll ever do. So there's actually something I want to talk to you guys about today. And it's something that I've been umming and ahhing whether to share for absolutely ages. Start of last year, so 2019, I went for an assessment to be diagnosed with autism. For those of you guys that don't know what autism is, I think it's probably best for me just to share with you my experience of it. But it's basically a part of me that's with me for life and something I have to deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. Things like routine, time become really stressful for me. Anxiety is a big deal. If things go wrong, you guys will watch me on camera and you'll think, wait, how's he got autism? He's so confident and clear and knows what he's talking about. And yeah, I suppose that's kind of true, but what you guys see is where I'm comfortable at, and that's at the pitch. So you guys see me at the pitch in front of the camera, that's a massive comfort zone for me. And lots of people with autism have things they're really good at, things they're really intelligent at, things they're really clever at. And for me, my one's football. And it's, a, and it's the one place when I'm at my happiest. I'm just gonna warm up, have a few free kicks. Not expecting much, just gonna get into the rhythm of things and see how we get on. Enjoy the free kicks. Stay in this reel, don't go up or down, stay here. It's like five seconds of your time, top corner up the wall. Just enjoy it. Stay in this reel. It's like five seconds of your time. Just watch and enjoy. Top corner. This is absolutely killing me, guys. It's so infuriating. The knuckleballs are on point. They're just not going in the goal. I know I can go back. I know I can move position as to where I'm striking the ball, but. <laughs> I just can't do it to myself. I'm running out of time as well. Like I said, yeah, time is a massive deal to me. It's 10 to 2. Ideally, I want this done in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> So 
So you've just seen three crazy unlucky knuckleballs, right? But this is a bonus about autism, for me anyway. When I'm doing my knuckleball free kicks and I have shots like that, yes, it's frustrating. I'm not gonna deny that, it is frustrating. But at the same time, when you're passionate about something and you truly believe in your ability, it keeps you going. And I'm grateful for that. Oh, where are you going? Stay. Stay in this reel. Don't go up or down, trust me. It's like five seconds of your day. The top corner of the board. Hold ya. Oh, the relief. We can move on to something else. Three minutes or two, and I can now end this video. Wasn't the best knuckleball, to be honest. I know I can do better, but for the real, it's enough. Quick things to point out. Am I shooting on the valve? Yes, only with the orange ball, not the MLS Jabulani. Second thing, is it windy today? No, rule that out. Third thing, are the footballs flat? Not flat. Three myths, all busted. It's honestly perfect conditions for knuckleball free kick today. I'm loving it. Leave your comments down below as to what you think about what I've said, if you've got any experiences yourself. We've been doing YouTube for eight years and this is the first time I've spoken about it. So I hope you've enjoyed the video because we want you guys to enjoy all of our videos. Like, subscribe and we'll see you next time.